Hi! This video is going to show you how to build your own super simple macro pad. What you're going to need is your package, some solder, a soldering iron, some switches, and some keycaps. First, take out your kit. Inside, you're going to find two PCBs, one for the panel, one for the actual functional PCB. Going to find a Arduino Pro Micro with headers. You're going to also find four standoffs and screws and some rubber feet. So the first thing we're going to do is prep the PCB to solder the Pro Micro. So what I like to do is take out the standoffs, unscrew one leg from each, one screw from each, place them into the holes and then screw the standoff. And the reason why we do that is that we have a little bit of space here at the bottom so we can rest the PCB on the table and solder in place. Okay, then we're gonna take out the Pro Micro. We're gonna take the headers. And one trick I like to do to keep things clean is to keep the long side that normally go into the PCB Keep it up so that way at the bottom here it's not sticking out much. So we're gonna do that. And then we're going to place the Pro Micro on top of the headers. That way. So that it it goes in as you can see here. It sits onto the headers. And you want to do it where this little square is facing towards you with the logo at the same time. So once you do that, you place it back down and you turn on your soldering iron and you start prepping to solder. Okay, so now the soldering iron is warm and ready. We take our solder here. We take the soldering iron and then we start soldering each pin. Now there are guides that you can find if you're not really comfortable soldering where it really helps explain how to do it properly. I'm not going to go through this. This kit assumes that you know how to solder, but I'm still trying to be as detailed as possible. So I hope that you can see what I do. You basically solder the first pin over here. I place my finger on it and then let it cool so that it stays in place. I do the same thing for the opposite side. And now I'm sure that it's nice and flush. Both sides are nice and flush. So let's put it back and solder all the other points.
Okay. So all the pins have been soldered. So now all of these pins are stuck to the Arduino. There you go. So you see everything is nice and, and stiff. Everything is soldered. So now we're gonna put it back again. What we can do here is then unscrew these standoffs. Place the Arduino back. Keep in mind to always follow the shape with the USB towards the out, outside. And then we can flip it. And now we're gonna do the same technique where we, cor we solder each corner. And press on it. So you just keep holding it down and then the solder will stick and then it'll be stiff again. So do the same thing for the opposite corner. And there you go. And then you can proceed to soldering the rest of the pins. Okay, there we go. So Pro Micro is well placed. So next we have the switches. So what we're going to do is get some switches, whatever switches you like. Preferably they are five pin switches. So if you look here, you see that they have two extra pins on either side and that makes it stick better to the PCB into these five holes here. There you go. So we're gonna place all eight switches. Okay, and then we're going to flip it. Now, if your switch is too loose and it falls like that, what you can do is just simply Grab the paper that it came with, place it underneath it, and there you go. Okay, so once you have the switches ready to solder, let's start soldering them. Make sure all the solder joints are nice and round and cover the entire circle. And there you go. All right. So we have eight switches now, soldered into the macro pad. So pretty much the soldering is done. You can close your solder iron and you can start assembling the final assembly. So we can start with the feet. I like to put the feet right underneath the screw holes here, right there. I find that it gives the best ability, but you can place them anywhere you want. Alright, there we go. Now let's put the standoffs again. Now you can remove the other screws. Take your top panel, align it with the standoffs, and then start placing the screws. And screwing it down. You don't have to have a tool to do this. The screws are thumb screwable, so you could just do it with the thumbs. You see there, they have a large enough head that you could do it with just your fingers.
All right, almost done. Now all you really need is some some caps. So I have some caps here. Let me use a few. And there you go. You have a brand new macro pad. In another video, I'm going to show you how to set it up using VIA so that you can change the layout as you want. And uh, otherwise, you could just plug it in right away and it would actually work as function row from F1 to F7 and then a function, a layer function button. But I'll show you in VIA how to change that to whatever you want. Okay. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you very much for buying one. Thank you.